In this video, we're going to look at a more advanced version of the employee recognition app called Kudos that's built for SharePoint 2013. So in this video, we're going to add some functionality to Kudos. Specifically, we're going to add a gamification component to where I can actually send a badge as part of my recognition. We're also going to add the ability to distinguish between a normal user and an administrator. So an admin of Kudos might be able to go in and change the quotas or how it notifies different users of the, the application. Behind the scenes, we're going to back the application with SQL Azure. That way we can do more advanced reporting, such as if I want to look at the historical view of all the kudos that I've sent and received over time, um, I can go and do that more efficiently using SQL Azure. And then finally, we're going to add the ability for the application to act more gracefully if a user happened to navigate directly to the app without a context token. So traditionally what I would do is I'd go to SharePoint and then go to the app and SharePoint would pass on a context token. But in this case, we're going to see how we can handle it if the user went directly to the app. So let's take a look at the completed application and then you can reference my blog to see how it was built. So I'm here on a MySite host um, and if you look over on the left hand side of the I happen to be on the news feed. On the left hand side you can see a kudos link and that's actually going to be a link into our app. So we actually added it, uh, the, the app itself, to the My Site host. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the kudos link. And when I go into the app, this is going to be the full screen version of the app. We're going to have different ways that we can surface the app to users, but this is the full screen version. And I have the form for filling out a kudos on the left hand side of the screen. And on the right, I have a nice historical view of all of my kudos activities. So you can see all the kudos I've sent over time and all the kudos I've received over time um, right here in this area. If I go and look at the top right hand part of the screen, I have a little gearbox that gives me a menu. This is part of the Chrome control, but what's interesting are all of the menu items here are actually security trim. So I'm an admin, so I see things like app settings and badge management. If a normal visitor were to come in here, they wouldn't get those options. So just as an example, I'll go in here to app settings. And what you'll see is I have options such as changing the quota, the quota duration, and some of the notifications that can get sent as part of kudos. The other option that I had up in the menu is I could select things like badge management. So if I wanted to click into badge management, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump back into SharePoint, but this is the app web of our application. So I'm back in SharePoint. This is a special part of SharePoint that's really isolated for our app. And here I can just basically upload new badges that I want to be able users to be able to give to different um, recipients of kudos. So um, this really makes use of all three areas that come into play when we talk about apps, the host web, the app web, and the remote app web. So let's go ahead and send a kudos, take a look at how that works. So I'm going to go over here back to our application. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to send a kudos to someone. So I'll just type in maybe um, Garth. So I'm going to send this to Garth Fort. I'm going to say go. You can see it pulled in his picture from SharePoint. Again, we're at this point, we're in, we're in Azure where our app is hosted. But I'm still able to pull up, you know, things like profile pictures, names, their title, and email address. I'm going to go ahead and pick a, uh, a badge here. So you can see I have a nice little drop down menu where I can pick a badge. Maybe I'll send him a helping others badge and I'll just write a quick note here. Thanks for all the help on the Contoso presentation last week. You helped us be successful. So just a really quick um, message here that I want to send to Garth. I'll go ahead and click send. When I do that, it's going to be very nice and asynchronous in how it sends it, but ultimately it'll refresh the page and show me the new kudos that I sent here. So you can actually see directly in the browser um, in, in that historical area, I get that reporting view of what was sent. Um, behind the scenes, what this did is it also posted to the news feed. So if I were to go back here to the landing page, you'll see that it added this with an at mention to Garth. So it said, 
Richard sent Garth a kudos for, and it lists the kudos, and then it shows the badge. So all that's really, really nice. Shows us how um, we can do some interesting things to integrate this into things like the social feed. One of the other things that the app has the ability of doing is um, I can actually maybe display this in the site and not actually ever leave SharePoint. So if I just had like a wiki page that I wanted to surface the app in, you can see here, this is just a normal wiki page. And to the left, I have some text and to the right, I have my actual um, kudos form where I could go type in here and I could send Garth um, you know, a, a kudos directly without, without ever leaving SharePoint. So in this case, we're using and surfacing the app in what we call an app part or a client web part. So it's pointing out to our application location. The last thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. And let's say that I wanted to go to my app and I saved a favorite to it. So I'm gonna go over here and open the browser and I actually have a favorite save for the Kudos Employee Recognition app. And when I click on that, watch what happens. It's actually going to flicker for a second and then go into our app. What happened there is we actually gracefully handled the case where we don't have a context token for the user. So in this case, we very quickly redirected to SharePoint to get a context token and came right back. So again, that's some of the new capability of the, the more advanced Kudos Employee Recognition app. Please check out my blog and you can see how we added these, this functionality.